Hey everybody, for Kidlit TV, I am Phil Builder, and this is Phil's Fast Five. So today, my guest is the incredible Shannon Hale, okay? And she's here to play Phil's Fast Five. Do you know how to play Phil's Fast Five? No. Okay, cool. So Phil's Fast Five works like this. I ask you five questions, you answer five questions, you're allowed to pass on one and only one question. Okay. And then afterwards, you're allowed to, like, talk about whatever you like if you make it that far. Okay, right. question number one. So... You have a love-hate relationship with Brussels sprouts. Or should I say, a hate-love relationship with Brussels sprouts. Care to explain? It's true. Okay, cool. So? So when I was a kid, my mom would make Brussels sprouts to boil them and then top them with vinegar. Because what Brussels sprouts really need more of is that <laughs> vinegar. Flavor. It's just awful. And it was awful. And so I thought I hated them. Then I grew up and I learned how to roast vegetables. And, and now I want to eat them all the time. I love roasted Brussels sprouts. I, I, I couldn't stand them as a child. I, I never really ate them that much. I like them as a grown-up because you just wrap them in bacon. And oh, there you go. Everything goes better with bacon. Okay, question number two. What is your secret or hidden talent, knowing that once you answer this question, it will no longer be secret? Okay. Well, I have I have not done this in a long time. Okay. But I used to be able to sign dog with one hand. Okay. And cat with the other at the same time. I did it, so you I did still it. have it. So you it's still have the talent. Memory. Good. It, it really That's once amazing. it comes back. Yeah. Question number three. Um, what was your first vehicle? Your first car? I didn't, I didn't have my own car, but we had a family car that was really old that got passed around. So I was one of five kids. Okay. It was this old, rusted Toyota. Were you a Toyota. middle child? I was a middle child. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can't imagine why I figured that. And it was a <laughs> stick shift, and it was really, it was scary to drive, because you're uh, a new driver, and I'm in, I'm in Salt Lake City, which was, it's, it's hilly, so you'd park on the... At a stop, like you have to stop on a hill, and you're like, oh no! And you'll be telling the people behind you, back up like 20 feet, because when <laughs> I start, gonna I'm going to roll back before I go forward. Um, so, do you still drive at five speed? I, I drive a minivan, because I'm a mom, I have four kids, okay. but it has a Wonder Woman emblem on the hood. Question number four. Four. Um, are you a morning person or a night person? I'm definitely not a morning person. So that means you're a night person. I people don't talk don't talk to me in the morning for like at least half an hour because I don't my brain has opened up enough to, okay. to remember how to talk. Okay, so you do your work at night. I can't. My brain turns off at night. I work in the day like a normal human being. Not okay. these crazy artists uh -huh, right? that work till four a.m. But, but, but I love to stay up at night. It'd be incredibly unproductive. And be unproductive. Nice. Okay, good. Be so, alone in the house and awake. It's such a great feeling. Do you, do you like dance by yourself? Everybody's their beds. I do. Do you really? What do you listen to? What do you listen to when you dance? I love... Like, uh, Zeppelin? <laughs> I do love I do. I love, I love classic rock. Okay, next question. Question number four, I think. Okay, time to spill the dirt on Lei Win Fang. Lei Wynn is the a co-creator of Real Friends, the graphic no graphic novel memoir you've done, and she's also the co-creator, the illustrator of the Princess in Black series. Yes. Okay, I'm sorry. So we knew each other for like a decade before uh, we worked together, uh -huh. and so we were so excited to work together. How'd you know each other? Uh, just through the business, we just met. You know, when I would travel, she would be there, nice. and, you know, and, and just we. I loved her work. She loved my work. We, we always had a secret desire to work together, but we never thought that we would because uh -huh. I didn't write illustrated books back then. Right. But then we ended up being just like, it's like we're perfect little, we're the same age. Oh, nice. Okay, good. But you we're just like little, we're like sisters. We're like lost sisters. still have an answer to the question. Tell us something about her. Okay. <laughs> we, we travel together, and so we, we take a lot of photographs, and something I've noticed about Lei Wen, uh, she cannot be serious in a photograph. Okay. Explain. She turns into a total goofball. You get a camera in front of her, and she's like, She's dancing. She's a superhero, and she's hilarious. Good. Okay. Cool. All right. So, question number five, I think. Okay. So, when you attended the University of Utah, yes. Okay, go Utes. Yes. Utes. Go Utes. I, you did the simple. <laughs> I did. I didn't even realize. So you used to do improv comedy I did. when you were at the University of Utah. Yeah. Um, how has improv helped your writing? You know, improv was something that really scared me. I grew up doing theater. Uh, like community theater and then I had a friend who taught us how wanted to form an improv comedy troupe and he taught us the rules of it and once I realized that there were rules I was like oh my gosh I could actually do this it's not just about being funny what's a rule what's one of the rules one of the rules is some people could say it's 
it's called yes and okay or no denial right so if if i'm starting a scene and in my mind i'm a cowgirl and i'm on a horse i'm going like this and then i've got an idea of where the scene's going to go and then another a friend comes on the stage and says uh nice dinosaur I have to go with that. Right. I can't say, no, right. it's a horse. Right. Um, you just go with what you're given and so, see where it happens. All of a sudden, you're on a T-Rex. Exactly. Nice. Okay. And that cool. could be really funny. But in writing, you have to do that, too. Sometimes you've got an outline and you think you know where it's going, but in the process of writing, you write something you didn't think about beforehand, and you have to look at it and go, I'm going to follow this. I'm going to see where this goes. And that. you end up finding really cool things you wouldn't have discovered otherwise. It's all about the journey. Okay, so you actually survived Phil's Fast Five, I think, Woo! okay? So now tell us a little bit about Real Friends. And Real Friends, yeah, y'all need to read this book. That's all oh, I got to say. So please, no. tell us about Real, Real it Friends. It is a memoir of my childhood friendships Okay. in a graphic novel format. And I had kind of, um, like a lot of people, I had friendship troubles. Um, I had a best friend in the world who was popular. Mm -hmm. And she was friends with this really popular group. So because of her, I ended up a member of this really popular girl group uh -huh. in elementary school, but I wasn't really a part of it. I was like half in, half out, and it's it's so terrifying to be like that. To never yeah. go to school every day and not know so are my are they my friends? Are they not Ugh. my friends? And so I wrote a, I wrote a memoir about it really for my daughter, and because um, I never thought I'd write a memoir, and now it's amazing. It's illustrated by Lee Wynn Pham, who's brilliant. And it was so amazing to hear from so many people who were like, yeah. oh my gosh, you know how I feel because I feel the same way. Yeah. So, Jenna, you have survived Phil's Fast Five. Yay! Absolutely. So, for Kid Lit TV, I am Phil Bilner. This is Shannon Hale, and we are out of here. Peace.